Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Funko News. This episode of Funko News was recorded on or for September 11th, 2020. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss out. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on when I drop one of my latest Funko News videos. Also, if you could go ahead and hit that like button, it really does help this video reach other people and really do appreciate it guys. So we actually have a lot of Funko news that we got to get into. So let's just get right into this episode. First up, we have some hot topic releases coming soon. We don't have the glam shots yet, but I'm extremely excited to see what they're going to bring for Naruto Shippuden. And then also for all you One Piece fans out there. So that's exciting news for all anime Funko Pop collectors like myself. So I don't really collect the One Piece Funko Pops. I mainly focus on Naruto and sometimes Dragon Ball, but not as of late. And then we have some It's Sunny in Philadelphia Funko Pop. It's about time they made this. This is, I think, an extremely popular show. These are releasing December 5th and these are only going for 11 bucks. You can pick these up because these are only common Funko Pops. You can pick them up wherever common um, Pops are sold. So starting on the top left, we have Princess D, Dennis as the Dayman, Frank as Troll, Mac as Nightman, and Charlie as Dayman. Next we have some Dune Funko Pops coming soon. I actually didn't see these out yet, so they may be out soon rather than later. If you guys have any um, information or any more information on when these are coming out, let me know in the comments. These are just gonna be common for like 10, 11 bucks. So I haven't seen the old Dune movie, but this is gonna be the new one. Or I don't know if it's like a TV series or what. I haven't really looked into it, but I'm assuming it's a, a movie after the classic 1984 Dune movie. I'm not picking any of these up until I watch it and we'll go from there and see what happens. Also, Exciting guys, we have some details on the Looney Tunes superheroes, so are the villains because we have Wiley Coyote as Cyborg coming in October 21st. So be on the lookout to pick that one up from FYE. It's sadly not Bat Duck, it is going to be Sylvester as Batman coming in on the 23rd, which is kind of like, ah, whatever. I, we, I really wanted Bat Duck instead of Sylvester as Batman, but what can you do? And then we have, and then we have Lola Bunny as Wonder Woman coming in November, November 25th. That one's gonna be an extremely popular one. And then for the 17th, so here in the next couple days, we have Bugs Bunny as Superman FYE. Also guys, before we go anywhere else, be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. If you're enjoying my Funko News videos, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. Also, I did put this slide in here. Be on the lookout for, I believe the 14th, we're gonna get some New York Comic Con glam shots, so we're gonna do a whole series on that. If it's not that day, then whenever they release it, release, but the latest on that is the 14th. We're gonna get New York Comic Con Funko Pop. Next we have some Funko Pop sodas. We have Superman, limited to 15,000 pieces. I uh, like this a Funko Pop soda for the Superman. And then the Chase is what, the villain Superman? What do you call that guy? It's they're pretty cool, I, like, I do like this. The line of Funko Pop sodas they released are pretty sick for, for the last couple days. The only thing is though, they cost more than a common Funko Pops. So like these go for 11 to 12 dollars and then Funko Pops any range from like 9 to 10 bucks. I honestly think these should be like 5 or 6 bucks. Honestly in my opinion. But what can you do? Here we have the Semi Jack Aku. And they only pretty much spray painted black and painted the eyes red. But I still like it. I like uh, I love Semi Jack. So this one's limited to 10,000 Funko Pop sodas. Next we have Wacky Races, Muttley, and I don't know if this is the first time they've done a flocked chase. Well, this one's limited to 12,000 pieces, and this is definitely one. If this is the first flocked one, at least it's the first one that I remember, this is definitely a pickup. Then we have Dastardly 
from Wacky Oasis. All the chasers for the Funker Pop sodas have actually looked, uh, for this uh, episode of Funker News, have been looking pretty good, honestly. They did a complete flip of the outfit, so that's a good chase for Dastardly. Bob Ross flocked, huge, like, like, if you are a painter, you definitely want the Bob Ross, but I'm gonna huge pass on this one. Don't really care too much for it. And not picking it up. Here we have Cutie Corn coming soon uh, for uh, Fantastic Plastic. This is this year's winner. And this is where he's e eating the chocolate and he has his little pumpkin basket. I don't know, Fantastic Plastic Line never has done well. And this is gonna be a Funko Hollywood exclusive. I like it, but man, I'll believe it when I see it when, when one sells out in the first day of it being released. So we'll see how, how it goes. Next we have Jack Skellington, the common, and then the glow in the dark chase. For all you Nightmare Before Christmas fans, they made 20,000 of these because they expect a huge sellout. Clarabelle Cow, limited to 8,000 pieces. So you have the black and white version and the color version. So if you're looking to pick up both of those, there you go. Here we have some more Disneyland 65th anniversary. Go check Amazon to see if you can pick some of these up. Last time I looked, they were on there. So we have Dumbo, the flying elephant attraction and Minnie Mouse. I really do like how they did the Disneyland 65th anniversary boxes. And hopefully they didn't make too many of those because if they didn't, they're gonna, they're gonna be great. Uh, Bunko Pops have in the collection. Here we have Mr. Toad for the Disneyland 65th. Not bad. Captain Hook. We, we knew these were coming. We just didn't get the, the glam shots yet. And here we have the actual boxes. Peter Pan at the Peter Pan's flight attraction. The only thing that I, I wish is that some of these were exclusives. Mr. Toad at Mr. Toad's Wild Wide ride attraction. I've actually never have been to Disneyland, so I'm hoping when I get back to the States to go visit Disneyland, and that would be sick. That'd be so cool. Next, we have just the regular Peter Pan looking fierce, holding his little baby sword. There you go, all you Peter Pan fans out there. One of the most exciting things that came out this week was the Funko Shop animation drop so if you missed out on these these actually aren't going for crazy amounts on ebay but i think these should you know because i think i think these all look fantastic first we have stitch on tricycle this was the funko shop exclusive and this one i leaked a while ago like a couple weeks ago and some people were like this is fake blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm just like well you just gotta stay tuned and watch so I don't release anything that is fake unless like they either recall it or, or something like that. Here we have the Bugs Bunny, Camo Bugs Bunny. A lot of people didn't like this one, but I, I love it. For Looney Tunes 80th anniversary, Looney Tunes Funko Pop. Uh, the only thing is you can't really make out his mouth and, and stuff. And then his, um, I don't know, it's just a really cool artist series, Bugs Bunny. And then Hello Kitty Sky, Diamond Edition from the Fun Funko Shop. I think this might've been the least popular of the bunch if, unless you collect Hello Kitty, then I could see you like wanting this one, but um, definitely the least popular one. And then we have Bullseye, the remix, Funko Pop. From the Funko Shop Alien Remix. Like I said, I don't think these are going anywhere. I think these look fantastic. And I look forward to see what else they're gonna produce for these. But anyways, that concludes it for today's episode of Funko News for September 11th, 2020. If you guys like this video, be sure to like. Comment down below if you were able to get anything from the Funko Shop animation drop. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you're new. Also, be on the lookout for on the 14th. We should be getting some New York Comic Con Funko Pops. It's coming soon. I will get you all the latest Funko News available. We are the most up-to-date and latest Funko News out there. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss out. I don't, as always, guys, beg by beg, collect all the pops. I'll see you next time on another episode of Funko News. Peace out.